Last week, Bamboo Labs announced a callback for the heatbed of the A1 3D printer. The issue being the power cable for the heatbed at the point it entered the back of the printer was becoming damaged. They say this was caused either by bad handling and shipping or by the end user when putting the printer together. Their fix for this was a cable protector that was available either as a download that people could print now or people could wait to receive one from Bamboo Labs. This always felt like a temporary fix and wasn't really going to the root of the problem. Now, when the initial announcement was made, Bamboo Labs did say that people should stop using their A1 printers until this issue was resolved. Since then, there has been a lot of discussion in the community about other problems in this area, and a big one being that this heatbed is AC. This means that if this power cable does swell and does cause damage, not only could it result in a fire, it could also result in a health hazard as AC electricity is far more dangerous than DC. As a result of this, Bamboo Labs has issued a full recall on the A1 3D printer, and they've given you two options. You can pack up and send the entire printer back to them, and then get a full refund as well as an $80 voucher to use on their store for another printer. Alternatively, you can hold on to your printer, and they'll send you out a replacement bed once they've made their changes, and a $120 voucher to use on their store. This would then mean that you would then have to replace the bed yourself. It is a lot for Bamboo Labs to ask the end user to replace an AC print bed in their printer. So there is a big question mark over that. And I would say, unless you are super confident with electronics, do not replace that print bed. Send the whole thing back and get a refund. Now you've got the option. You could send it back and get a refund and just buy another printer, or you could wait for them to update their printers and send out a new one. If you were to wait for the A1 printer to have the new heat bed built into it and sent out as a new unit, they are saying this is going to happen as early as May. If you were to hold on to your printer and replace the print bed yourself, that could be sent out as early as March. So it would be sooner. But again, you should only do this if you're really confident and you know what you're doing. Either way, please be careful because there is some real potential danger here. I will keep any updates of any big announcements on this on new videos, but any small announcements I'll update in the description below. For now, please be safe and as always, happy printing. I hope you guys found this video useful. I will be doing other updates on big 3D printer news, especially that which could have big health and safety implications. For now, why not check out some of my tutorials or some of my other fun maker videos. Thanks very much and again, happy printing.